Hello there and welcome back to a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the In Isa Shrine, also known as the ability to combine. You can find this shrine at the Great Sky Island, practically at the beginning of the game. Let's get in. So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it? Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Set ability. The ability to combine in Isha Shrine. Okay, so first off, pick up the rusty claymore. Now walk on straight ahead and use the fuse ability to fuse this boulder to your sword. And you can do that with the L button. Now just smash those bricks into pieces. Walk towards that pillar and smash it. A treasure chest is on top with five arrows in it. Now walk towards here and pick up all the fire fruits because we're gonna need it. Also at the other side. Now pick up the old wooden bow here and another pair of arrows and use the fuse ability to fuse it, your arrow with fire fruit and now just shoot the leaves there that will trigger the fact that the chest will fall down open it and a small key is inside now we can continue our quest in this shrine Walk out of here, go right, up the stairs, and open the door with your small key. Turn left here, climb on the ladder, and be careful, there is a guardian type here, which we need to destroy. It also knows fuse. What I prefer is using my bow to set the leaves on fire when fusing it with fire fruit. So the guardian is getting a lot of damage already. And now we just had to hit it ow, once. But it was just before us when hitting. Okay, that's more like it. Pick up the bow that it drops, a bow with five. And pick up all the other stuff that it's dropping. Captain Construct Horn. Zone charges. When climbing up here, we can pick some more fire fruit. Jump down there. Nothing much more of interest. Use your sword by smashing those bricks. Walk towards the end and press A. You have done well to reach this place. 
we offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Something I failed to give you. Please take it. Energy cell. A gift from a Zona construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zona devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Very well then, the second shrine of the game, Tears of the Kingdom, completed. Very well done. Was it easy? Let me know in the comments down below. And when you're there, please hit the like button. That helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there, subscribe to the channel. Since you won't miss my future content, other upcoming shrine guides, and that also helps us grow, well, the channel. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. See ya!